it's G from the Academy of Language Therapy and Life Coaching and I've been wanting to do this kind of video for a while where I talk a little bit about parenting and the connections that parents have between themselves and and their children. Oh look, look, look you can see me if I raise the camera up. Um, but I'm going to stay in silhouette because I want you to focus on the, I want you to focus on the information, not the person. I want you to focus on the information. And so the subject of the theme of this short video is going to be slowing down. It's going to be slowing down. Life moves pretty quickly in the modern world. We've got all this technology, we travel a lot, and... I think it's good if we can take our foot off the gas every now and then and just slow down a little bit, especially as we get older. You know, what happens as you get older is that the space between seconds seems to close together and it feels like years pass and months. It feels like, it feels like Sometimes the, the, the month is just a single day. I have meetings with clients and maybe there's a week or two weeks between the meeting and it feels like just one day. It feels like one day because so much happens. So much happens, especially for those who have their own businesses, basically. So um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about slowing down and hopefully this will be the first video in the new series of Mindful parenting videos. If you've got a topic that you'd like me to cover, if you've got something that you'd like me to talk about, then uh... Uh, I'll be very happy to try to discuss that. Now, if you can hear me, if the audio is going out okay, because this is a live video, then give me a thumbs up. Give me, um, give me a little bit of feedback. Let me know that everything is, everything is cool out there. I'd like to say hi to Yanka, who is watching according to the information that I have. Okay, so let's get, let's get down to the information. Let's get down to the practicalities of slowing down everything. Have you ever, um, here, here's the thought, can you hear the birds in the background? That's why I opened the window so that I could hear the birds in the background. You ever hear the birds? Stressing out about things. I don't. I don't think they, 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 they really do. They, they like to sing about life. <laughs> and uh, maybe you noticed the video that I posted on my Facebook page. Uh, I think two days ago, where it was four o'clock in the morning, and uh, I just wanted to record the the sound of the birds, which was uh, which was quite amazing. Anyway, um, let's get to the point. Slowing things down. How do we slow things down? Well. The first thing that we have to understand is that why, why do we want to we want to slow things down so we, that we, so that we have time to listen to what it is that people are actually saying because to listen properly means to pay really close attention to what is being said by somebody to what is being said beneath the words behind the words and very often between the words very often between the words um our, our listening skills operate at the speed of sound, which is far slower than the speed of light through which we see things. Most information enters and leaves the body through the eyes. That's why we call the central part of the eye the pupil. That's how people get illuminated with information. But really, really there are more ways that we need to learn to focus in life. They say seeing is believing, but listening is learning, I think. So to to generate listening as an as an art, one thing that we have to become comfortable with is silence. You ever notice how people cannot take they cannot um What's the word? Exist? They cannot. They're just not comfortable with silence. 
they're just not comfortable with silence. You would look at the fact that, that people have to talk, they have to jump into conversations, they have to they have to talk over the top of other people. People are not comfortable with silence and that's that's I think that's a great problem that we that we all need to overcome is that we need to become very comfortable with the idea of silence in in life because silence gives us op- opportunities to to contemplate and to think much more deeply about what is happening in the world around about us so if we slow down our life we give ourselves an opportunity to absorb the world at a, at a more natural speed and as a result we get a chance to analyze words and their their deeper meanings now if you consider basic interactions between parents and children and many parents will ask their child how was how was your day and you know they'll get they'll get a one word response okay fine and there's so there's a problem getting to a deeper a deeper meaning and um one of these problems is that is that these conversational these short conversational um blocks are really visible when the child is older in, in teenage years but they're they're really developmental phase problems you have to go back in time and look at how the child observed and understood interaction when they were in a much younger developmental phase say from the age of 3 to 5 or 5 to 8 there are basically three psychological brain development phases um beyond the, the the initial motor skills i mean 0 to 3 is developing your your basic motor skills and then 3 to 5 5 to 8 and 8 to 12 are the three psychological development phases and if you haven't developed the skills or an understanding or experience of the skills by the age of 12 then then that's when problems are going to occur later in life people don't realize that when they deal with a problem they're dealing with the result the the effect they're not dealing with the cause the original the original symptom of the problem you know like when you when you go to the doctor and the doctor gives you a pill or or whatever then you know he's dealing with the end result of something he's not dealing with the cause so we need to understand that we need to develop these longer conversations with with our children when they're much younger when they're much younger it also exposes the cho- children to a lot more language and it exposes the children to the fact that words can solve problems the words help us find solutions to uh, to a lot of things that happen around about us so many many children also say they could they wish they could talk to their parents more but they find that that their parents don't listen it's a, it's a two-way street really um so there's often a problem on on both sides and usually this is because the children are mirroring the parents the parents have a fear or lack of ability to communicate and so the children have a fear or a lack of ability to communicate you know the same way that if the parents are great athletes the child will probably be a good athlete right um you know the the, the physical skills are as representative as the psychological skills that develop so um another problem is that people are too busy in the modern world the people are far too busy um here there everywhere family work um bills to pay targets to targets to meet hobbies and interests it's it's really crazy in the modern world so slowing down helps us with all of these elements of uh of listening and development um and breathing breathing remember to breathe in your conversations if you feel that things are going too fast stop stop for a minute and just take a few breathers the same way you would if you were if you were out jogging or running or whatever you know did in life itself we need to breathe as well so 
the parent really needs to t- take on the role of you know something like some kind of Zen master or something where where they are attempting to listen deeply, move slowly, and instruct the children in in uh, in a kind of modeling so that you you're not directly instructing instructing but you're modeling through living and that the child is learning through through observation um, I heard one or I read one uh, Zen master who said you want to you want to move like a cloud through life it's kind of interesting uh, interesting picture um, interesting idea that you you're there but almost unobserved sometimes but you're there you're there and it's important to be there in each conversation in each experience um, to be light but to be purposeful I think I think is key so so slow down breathe take a moment reflect Ask the child what, what, what their opinion is, what they think about the situation. It gives you a deeper experience to hit the uh, pause button. It gives you a chance to pay more attention, more attention to detail, much more attention to detail. Um, and all of these all of these elements fit together they're all pieces of a big puzzle so have you ever tried here's an experiment have you ever tried just to sit for 5 minutes by yourself not say anything not really think anything not communicate with anybody perhaps even just to observe the world around about you observe your breathing how do you feel What thoughts are passing through your head? Have you ever tried to to walk between your thoughts, to observe your thoughts, to disconnect yourself from your thoughts? All of those are interesting little experiments that help you to slow down life, help you slow down the day, and hopefully help you to um, to make a stronger connection with, with who you are and who the people are around about you as well. Also to make you feel more relaxed, more comfortable, and, and more confident about what you're doing as as well. Um, so practical, practical solutions to, to slowing down so that we can listen properly. Practical solutions. So practical solutions. I would suggest pausing. Before you do anything, pause. Take three to five deep breaths. Just think about what's going on around about you the same way that an, an athlete would before uh, before performing in an event just take three to five breaths and think about think about that pause think about that that action that you're going to do um, the pause will bring with it a, a sort of deeper kind of understanding of silence and stillness within yourself it'll also make yourself appear more focused and more confident notice the sensations that you're that your body has. Notice how you're feeling. Notice, notice, um, notice the speed of your your heartbeat. The, uh, the 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 power of your your breath. Um, allow moments to linger. If you have human connection with people, make those connections last longer. Hold on to somebody's hand for longer. Hug them for longer. These powerful human connections the physical connection very very powerful look at people closely and carefully while they're while they're speaking look into their eyes try to see into their mind the the eyes are not just windows to the soul they're they're, the brain tissue in in the head which is like a a visual doorway into into the ideas of a person Try to try try to look within. Try to look beyond. Try to understand between the words. Um, listen to the tone of a person's voice. 
listen to the the, the the animation of their speech. Animation is a great word. It means to bring life to things, the anime, the soul elements. Listen for the meaning. Very often people's words are not they use words but they're trying to tell you something different. People use a lot of mirroring in their in, in their conversation. There's a lot of persuasion in their conversation. The words are look for contradictions as well. Look for contradictions between the body language and the words. People say things but The words are often very different from the empirical reality. Look to see whether reality mirrors those those words or or not. And remember that every element of child parent contact, which is essentially what we're talking about here, we're talking about parenting in terms of communication. Every time that a child is communicating with an adult or a parent, it's it's basically that they're they're asking for love. And so it's not something that should be ignored. It's something that should be embraced. And if we slow down our lives, hopefully we can embrace these moments and hopefully we can make these moments more meaningful in our experience. And that's what I wanted to, uh, that's what I wanted to convey to you this morning. An element of mindful parenting the element of slowing down so that we can listen and observe much more carefully and closely and have a better quality of life as a result. If you like this video, please share it with a friend. If you want more information about what we do, you can visit us on Facebook. You can join our closed Facebook coaching group. You can visit our YouTube channel with over 800 videos on coaching. You can uh, you can book a free consultation at the school. Just visit our website, nsaslovakia.com, where we're happy to talk about how we can help you with uh, your learning, your development, um, your parenting, and, and a lot more. So um, it's been a real pleasure to present this video to you, and I hope you found something useful in it. Um, I hope you can hear the birds in the background. I hope you can hear the birds. Can you hear the birds? Hmm. Right. Um, I will speak to you soon. Um, link up. Stay cool. And uh, that's it for now.